Welcome to the first Good Good Lab video. I'm your host, Grant Horvat, and today is the first video of the lab series. This first video today is gonna to be a Wednesday video, and this is just a tip on the grip. So when starting golf, I think everybody knows the first thing that you have to do correctly is learn how to grip the golf club. Right. That's why we're doing this as the first Good Good Labs episode, guys. Let's get right into it. Um, Grant's gonna walk us through tips and tricks on how to have the best golf grip possible and improve your golf game. First, we're gonna go, we're gonna use Matt as an example for the grip and his orientation, how he holds the club. So I wanna just look at Matt's grip right now. All right, so unfortunately, I've kind of been working with the swing a little bit. So this is kind of what I come up with, Grant. I don't know if you like it. First thing that I'm gonna look at with Matt is his grip in his left hands. This is the biggest part. I'm gonna come up. If this is any of your friends, guys, this is you're trying to help your buddy out on the range, you can take your right hand off. What we're focusing on in this left hand is we are making sure, when you open this, open it, take all your hands off, that the club is not up in the palm here, but down in the fingers. Everybody, when they first start playing golf, it's almost a natural thing, is for everybody to grip it in the palm, like this. What happens is the club will automatically roll inside because there's no support here to hinge your wrist. So, I wanna make sure, when Matt, when you're gripping this club, I wanna make sure that club is down in these fingers here, and we have this part resting on top. You guys see that? I wanna make sure that's really clear. This part of the grip is resting on top. So now, what this enables you to do is hinge your wrist. Oh, see when you get hinge. to the top? If you have it in the palm there, it won't hinge, but it will roll. So that's where people get that slice move is because the club goes inside and then they go over the top. If you get that grip good, your chances of correcting your slice are gonna be improved, because I know that's what a lot of you guys struggle with. And you can test this when you grip it, go ahead, grip it, take a couple fingers off. You should be able to take, right? And just grip it with your back couple fingers, there. I can't do that, flexibility wise, right. I can't do that. No, no, but right there, let it. Right there, yeah. You should see how the club, how this is supporting the yeah. club. This is on top. Feels that great. is the goal right there. That's strong. That is a perfect grip. Now, when you close this hand over, go ahead, close it how you normally would. Right there, I mean, that's fine. You want this thumb, it can either go right down the middle or it can slightly go off to the side. Whatever is comfortable to you guys. And then put the right hand on. So when we're putting the right hand on, we're either gonna overlap or interlock the hands. A lot of people start out with baseball grips. If you do have a baseball grip right now, it's good to transition into an overlap or interlock grip. Right. So what that's gonna look like, go ahead. What do you usually do, Matt? I'm an interlocker. Okay, perfect. So he interlocks it, that's perfect. These back two fingers are gonna interlock. That's an interlock grip, this is an overlap. I wanna make that clear, overlap people with bigger hands will usually overlap, smaller hands will interlock. Oh. So if you if you naturally have smaller hands, I feel like it's better to interlock. And I think you, you don't have like huge hands. My hands aren't you know the size of Shaq's fingers. But right. They're small enough to where they interlock perfectly fine. Right, exactly. So go ahead and put the right hand on. Fingers here. Good, yep, yeah. perfect. Test that, good. And now, if you guys want to come around here quick. Now that he puts his right hand on, I want to make sure, see this V here? This is pointing up to the, his um, armpit here. I want this V to be pointing to the armpit. That's how you check if your right hand placement is good. That V needs to be going up into this armpit. And now that what is what I would consider right there is a neutral grip, guys. That is a neutral grip. It's not strong or it's not weak, it's neutral. Unfortunately, guys, we do not have Bubby here this week. He is out doing a road trip right now, but Bubby's grip, I can tell you from looking at, from watching it, it is a strong grip. We just said Matt's grip is a neutral grip. Now we're gonna go look at Steve's, look at Garrett's, and we're gonna look at um, Micah's. And we're gonna kinda see if they're stronger or weaker on the weaker side. I want you guys to understand strong versus weak. All right, guys, let's take a look at Steve's grip. So Steve, right here, I would consider this a weaker grip just because of his right hand being over a lot farther than normal people. He has this right hand over a little bit more on top. That's okay because when Steve takes his right hand off, take that off and open this up, his club's still in his fingers pretty solid. So I'm not really worried about if, if you wanna have the grip a little bit stronger versus weak, as long as that club is running in those fingers. That's what I'm most concerned with. And of course, Steve does have it down in his fingers. That's why he's able to play pretty good golf. That's good, yeah. 
Oh my fear, this man's on two. From his grip position, you guys can see, usually with a weaker grip, you're gonna wanna favor a fade. A lot of the time, people with weak grips usually do not draw the ball. Garrett just mentioned about grip pressure. What, what were you told when you were young? So when I started playing golf, uh, I think it was Arnold Palmer that said or where I heard it or something. You wanna grip the golf club as if you're holding a bird in your hands. Not too hard to where you kill it, but not too soft to where you let it fly away. Right. You just basically have to gauge that. And I mean, personally. You don't wanna have just, it too loose where you're, right. losing, you're losing the connection with the club. Right. But when Please. you guys are starting out, a lot of people will get blisters because they're trying to squeeze it too hard. Yeah. And you do not need to squeeze it too hard. Oftentimes when you're trying to hit it farther, it's natural to squeeze it harder. Right. But in reality. That'll slow down your club at speed. That'll slow down your club at speed. All right, let's look at Micah's grip. He has a really solid grip. I know Micah is gonna be showing a little bit of a stronger position. Immediately, comparing Micah's grip to Steve's grip, you're gonna notice this right hand is a lot lower. Steve's grip was up here like this. Micah's is a lot lower and that's in a stronger position. It's better to make the mistake of going a little bit lower with this grip and not like this. If you're trying to get rid of that slice. Next thing is left hand. Go ahead and put your left hand on. Take your right hand off. That would be also considered slightly strong just because his emblem here on his glove is facing more towards the sky. That is in a stronger position with that emblem faced up like that. That's why you can see right there with the stronger position that Micah has, that's why he produces a draw on the course most of the time. That is so good. Every time Micah hits that two to three yard draw almost every single time. He can fade it. Don't get me wrong, a lot of people still fade the ball with strong grips, but it is easier to draw the ball with a stronger grip. Micah can do both because he's at a pretty high level of golf. Since the day I met Garrett, I've always wanted to mess with his grip. That was the first thing I noticed because Garrett was hitting a lot of stingers and he had a super weak right hand. It would get steep on it and try and pinch it. That's how he hit his stingers. Since then, Garrett's gotten a lot better and now his grip is absolutely perfect and um, it's a really standard neutral grip. Garrett is one of the guys that does, he overlaps. I actually started in a college event because I noticed that for me specifically, when I was interlocking, I was using too much of my hands. Right. And I'm just naturally a handsy player, so anything that I can do to take a little bit of my hands out right. will actually help consistency from what I've seen. Um, the other thing that I'm potentially looking at doing is getting a thicker grip on the club. Right. Because this is, you know, standard and sometimes I just feel like that allows my hands to get even more engaged. Exactly. And a bigger grip is gonna make your hands get out of it a little bit more because you're not gonna be able to release your hands as much if the grip is thicker. Looking at Garrett's grip here, that's a really neutral grip. It's solid, his, his V's pointing up into the crease of his shoulder here. And his left hand, if you take this right hand off, let's test it. Open that hand up, boom, let go. It is running in a really solid position right there. It's not way down in the fingers because Garrett is at a neutral he is at a pretty neutral to a slightly weak left hand, so it is running right where I'd want it, just below the palm here. So some days Garrett is hitting a draw, some days he's hitting a fade. What I do like is he has his hands in a good position to play good golf. That's a big takeaway from today, guy. It, today guys, is that you're gonna set yourself up for success if you get this grip correct. That is one thing that when I learned golf, that was the biggest thing that I was taught. Right. My grip had to be perfect with my coach. Like Arnold Palmer talks about it a lot. He says, once you set that grip, never change it because it's your only connection with the club. So when I was like learning golf, when I was like 13 or 14, I my grip was all over the place. It was inconsistent. One thing that I did in the beginning was this V. My thumbs were like way over because I wanted to hit it far. Right. So when I was when I was like starting out golf, I actually had a baseball grip, I went to interlocking. Anything to just feel like I could hit it farther, actually that makes your club hit speed go down. Right. When exactly. you're gripping it hard like we were talking about. I, I feel like that was the biggest thing growing up, learning learning how to golf. The grip is the most important from what I've always been taught. Then stance, obviously. Your setup's probably more important than grip, right. but you know, whatever. Today we're just covering the grip, guys, and we will move on to things such as alignment, posture, stance, all those different things we're gonna cover in the rest of these series. But today was just the grip. I'm gonna show you my grip and I'm gonna show you guys the main takeaway from today's video quick. And that is, when you guys go to the range, I wanna make sure you guys are all getting that club right here. The best way to do this is to hold the club up like this 
set the club right across the fingers here and close. So now this is sitting on top. Whether you keep, you put your thumb off to the side here or right down the middle, I want you to make sure it's running down in those fingers. And the right hand going on top, you can either overlap, interlock, and make sure that this V is running up into the crease of your armpit. Those are the two main takeaways from today's video with the left and right hand on the club. Right now, I have a pretty neutral grip. It might be a hair stronger on the strong side. It has changed over the course of my career. I actually had a weak grip at one point and I strengthened it. I, I played around with it a little bit, but hit a couple shots here. Oh my, that was my first swing of the day. That was pure. This man has a great swing. He's definitely somebody you would want to take advice from when it comes to the golf swing. Well, hopefully you guys did gain some knowledge from today's lesson. That is the main goal. I want you guys to start going to the range. And if you notice your buddies, if you're out there and you notice your buddy, he's got it up in here. He's got it in the he, palm. He's got yeah, the yeah. stupid palm. What are you doing? If you notice that, go up to him. Dude, you got to get this grip down in those fingers. If your buddy's gripping yeah. it across handed, we got to fix that. That is going to conclude the first Good Good Labs video. Stay tuned for lots more tips and just lots of things about information in the golf swing. We have Grant who is heading this up. We're really excited about this. Excited. Let's I'm excited to learn some stuff actually. If you guys want to learn anything about your golf game, like Pig said, be sure to subscribe to this channel because this is free information and you're going to learn everything you need to know about the golf swing. We're going to touch on the key points of the golf swing, you know, the stance, the grip, whatever. We're going to go in depth on how to swing it correctly. And then from there, I mean, just keep watching. We might do some lessons with some cool people that we know in the in the social media space, or even we want to get some professional athletes on here that play golf as well. Maybe do like an extreme golf swing makeover. So stay tuned for that. If you guys have anybody specifically that you want to see us uh, do these lessons with, comment down below and we'll see if we can get them on the Good Good Labs and give them a little swing makeover. We're all really excited for this. So this yeah. is going to be fun. Yeah. I mean, I just learned something. I, learned something. I know a lot of you guys are also just getting into golf. So this grip is going to be the foundation for your golf swing. I think the Google Labs is going to be good for someone like me because I am not close to scratch right now and just getting tips from Grant should be able to help me out slowly. It might not change me dramatically right away, but just over the couple months that we do these, or a couple years, I don't know how long we're going to do them. Yeah, yeah. We're going to do them <laughs> however forever. Long, however long we do them, forever. Yeah. yeah, and I'm excited because I literally just learned something today. Um, I was gripping it and I was telling Garrett my grip is fine, it's not in the palm. And, and guess so what? It was in the palm. So yeah. I actually learned something on the first day of Good Good Lab. So I'm I'm hoping to see a lot of improvement, a lot of change, and hopefully can start playing really, really well in the Good Good videos and start showing up to these events and start taking some W's. So right. I'm excited and hopefully Grant can get me right and get me right in the slot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Until next time, guys, <laughs> we'll see you in the lab. Bye.